Hello everyone, I'm Arsene Nee from Venetia. Today I will show you how to connect our battery pack to Groovevat inverter. Okay, now, how is well? Yeah, I will connect the positive terminal, yeah, positive terminal to the positive terminal of the inverter. Okay. Now this is the negative in, in terminal of the battery pack, okay. Now the, the other wheel is used to connect is used to connect the ter, positive and the negative terminal of the, this inverter, okay. Here. This is a DC input. So the, this battery pack out, output the DC current to the inverter. We should connect this well to DC input. Okay. This is positive one. Okay, wait a second. Okay. Wait to make sure that. Okay, just connect this end and this end together. Okay, let's come double check. Strong enough. Okay, now we connect uh, this D, uh, this battery pack DC output to to the inverter DC input. Okay. The next step, we should connect uh, the communication well from the RS485 communication port from this battery pack. Yeah, this one, RS485, to, to this side, to the inverter, okay. Okay, the next step, the next step is uh, tie this, tie, Tie this well uh, to the in input, input, in input of this inverter. Okay, this is your ground L and the neutral. Yeah, so we should plug in these wells into these connectors accordingly. Okay. And then use the fix the screw, tie to the screw. screw. Okay, let's check if everything is ready. Okay. 
Now, I will start the, this battery pack. Turn on the breaker. Turn on this breaker, okay. And turn on this button to start this battery pack. Okay, now it's working. Then we should uh, turn on this inverter, okay. Turn on this inverter. Turn on this button. Then you will see the screen. Yeah. Okay. Wait a second. Okay, now. The inverter is uh, working. We should, the next step, we should the, um, the working mode of this inverter because uh, it not only can be connected to the, the lead acid battery, uh, but also can be connected with the lithium battery, okay. Now we should uh, uh, use this, this uh, inverter menu, okay. Use the menu to choose the right, choose the right or working mode, okay. Uh, you can see this. This is uh, the the mode, the mode for lithium batteries. So we should uh, put this enter button and hold on for a second, and uh, and push up and down buttons to choose the right right to to the right working mode, okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, as you can see, as it is showing in the screen, this is the same as this one in the working menu, okay. Uh, this means we, we choose the right working mode, okay, for the lithium battery. Then we should, the next step, we should uh, uh, push the end button, okay, end button, to, to choose the protocol, yeah, protocol. As you can see, uh, this, this protocol showing uh, in, in the screen is the same as uh, the protocol one, one in, in the uh, user menu, yeah, this one. Then we, sh we choose the first uh, protocol because in the BMS, we, we use the protocol one in our battery pack. So that's uh, confirm and out, okay? Okay, now as you can see, uh, the battery is, <coughs> is supply power to the load. Um, and and uh, this is the diagram. We can show the working status. Okay, now there is no there is no grid grid power. Then we will we will connect our inverter uh, with the grid. Okay. Now have the grid grid. I will uh, I will connect our inverter with the grid. Okay. Then push. Then you can see in the in this in the screen, it, it shows that the grid uh, voltage is uh, is uh, two hundred and thirty-eight thirty-eight volt. Okay. Now, now the inverter is getting an, is is getting energy from the grid, and and it uh, it is charging it is charging the battery and 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 uh, supply power uh, supply the load with power okay now um, there is no power almost uh, the the load force is almost uh, zero so i will connect the load to uh, with the inverter okay how the load okay how the load yeah the bar okay i will connect it with this inverter this is connected with the inverter. It is uh, it is followed. Okay, I connect it, connect it, and then put it down, and then you will see the the screen, the screen, and the screen. It is it's okay on the screen. It shows that um, the load is working, and and uh, the percentage of the the power output is uh, 
about uh, 18%, okay, 18% of the whole capacity of the inverter. Okay, now the grid is charging, is charging the battery and uh, supply the load with power. Now I will, I, I will con uh, disconnect it, disconnect uh, the grid. So the the inverter will um, be off grid status. Okay, that's uh, I will disconnect this. I will disconnect the inverter with uh, with grid. Okay, as you can see. Now the the. The bulbs, the load is still working. Yeah, uh, it is get, getting power. It is getting energy from from the inverter and and the and the battery pack is supply the inverter with power. Yeah, just uh, see. Let, let, let's let's see the screen. Now this is this working mode is the battery is discharging and uh, the. Immortal get energy from the battery and then supply supply the load with uh, with power from which is from the battery. So so that that means this uh, this inverter uh, Groovart inverter is off grid off grid one well and uh, it can can work well with our battery pack and uh, the bulb the bulb can be uh, can can be drive uh, can be driven by the inverter, and uh, this battery pack is uh, uh, is uh, supply efficient efficient power. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, pretty cool. So that's uh, turn of the load and turn of the inverter and uh, turn of the. This is today's video. Mm, that's all. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you can give us a like and or leave comments here. Okay. Um, welcome, welcome to visit our factory and the shell, which is located in Shenzhen, China. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.